Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got another sweet lesson for students and the Globeforge. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So I have got a bunch of this acrylic from an old Cam 2 engraving machine where it's cut into a keychain size, and then I just need to engrave on it. Well, instead of the Cam 2, I want to do it with the Globeforge and a free tool. So let me show you how to make that happen. The tool we're going to use is Google Drawings. So I need you to get to your Google Drive and choose more and make a brand new Google drawing. I need you to name it Keychain and put your initials. I've made many, many of these, so mine is gonna be called Keychain 5. When you click that, I need you to click File and I need you to do Page Setup and we need to choose Custom. Our keychains are three inches by one inch. When you do that, you'll notice this seems large, but that is the exact size the keychain fits. The first thing we're going to do is add a shape to cut out. When you draw, hold down shift and it stays perfectly circular. We want to make sure we leave room up here in the corner. I'm going to pull mine down all the way through here because you don't want your keychain to break. We're going to say transparent for the inside and I need you to make it red so that we're planning on doing a cut. We need to add a special kind of text. When you do insert, we want to choose word art. Put your cool words. Mine's going to be HL Mod Tech. You can put whatever you want. When you press enter, it shows up down here on the screen. It kept the properties from before, but we're going to change that. I'm going to stretch it so it fits just the way I want. And I'm going to change the outside to purple. And I'm going to fill it with a green. This is kind of cool because it allows us to shade it. I'm going to make sure I leave room on the edges and I leave room over here by where the hole for our keychain will be. When we click on our word, we get to choose a lot of awesome fonts. There are many, many built in. You can also click more fonts and check out all the fonts that are available. There are so many awesome ones to pick from. I like Lobster a lot. I like Pacifico. I think today I'm going to try Fredoka 1. So if you're trying a brand new font, you just hit OK and boom, it will adjust. Now you do need to make sure it fits. So I'm making sure that I squeeze it in. And I think that's going to be good. And if it cuts into my circle a tiny bit, I don't care as long as it's attached. When you've got your keychain built like this, in my classroom, there's a setting you must set to make this easy. So we click the three dots, we choose settings, we need to go down to advanced. When you get to advanced, we must tell it to ask us where we want to save. If you don't do that, everything else is more difficult. Once you close the setting, we're going to choose file and we're going to choose download as a scalable vector graphic, SVG. When it pops up the window, I need you to go all the way to the bottom and I need you to open up the this PC. We need to find the S, which is the shared folder. We need to find HL, which is Harbor Lights. We need to find projects. We need to find student and we need to find Harmon. Yes, I know that's a billion clicks. HL, projects, student, Harmon. And then the special folder we use is called STL. So this is always easy to find after this. I want you to right click and pin it to the quick access. Now, up here on your quick access, you'll be able to get to it instantly. Notice you'll see a bunch of other projects, but you want to keep your name with the cool initials and hit save. Friends, when you've got that part complete, you need to come to me and I'll take you to a special computer where I've got a special sign in where you can actually use these next steps to get it set up in the Glowforge. On the Glowforge computer, you will find a MT folder and the sign in to Glowforge. If it does not sign in automatically, just click sign in. When this opens, we'll need to put in the plastic. To do so, we just take the acrylic, open this up, and then I've got the clips set up so that it can just set inside there. If we have to add these clips in, all we do is we push them in so that it keeps this in place. Close it up and let's return to the app to get ready to cut. So from this screen, friends, we hit create and we upload from file. If you're not already in the STL folder, you can click it and then you should see your file at the top. If you didn't, then you didn't save it correctly. 
after you load it, it'll pop up some messages and it takes a few minutes for it to be processed. You'll notice ours contains what's called a clip path. It'll be up here with the rectangle and the circle. We always ignore that. The first HL Mod Tech is the one that is shaded and we do what's called an engrave on that one. When you click on it, we want to click on the setting that says 1 500, 350, 30, and 1.5 millimeter acrylic. On the next one, we want to do a cut so that our circle cuts out, and we're going to change that to the 3 millimeter acrylic. Now, because we're using 1.5 millimeter this time, we can change that to 1.5. And, and then we're going to click on the outside of our letters, and we're going to do a score. And we're going to use the 1 340 with auto height for the acrylic. You can then grab your project and bring it down to the keychain, hit plus to zoom in, and make sure that it fits. For my Glowforge, I found that we have to leave everything down near the bottom. If you go too high, it will cut off. You can stretch it up pretty close, but if you get too much over, uh, this hole will cut out. I'm going to make sure it looks straight to me. And at that point, we need to do select material. We're going to specify and use uncertified. And our material is 1.5 millimeters thick. Notice you don't have to type the words millimeter. It just happens. It refocuses. You can double check to make sure it looks the way you want. I'm going to make mine a tiny bit larger, but I am making sure I've got a lot of room for that hole. And then you can call me over and I'll help you get ready for printing. All right, friends, once approved and blinking, we can make something magical. Alrighty friends, let's see what we made. How do you like that? HL Mod Tech, totally free tools. I've got a whole herd of these little clip-on keychain adapters and boom, in less than two minutes, something to take home. So friends, there you have it. Totally awesome keychains with totally free software. I had a bunch of this material which helps out. You may have some other material, so all you'd have to do is change your settings and boom, your students would be making sweet keychains as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed before, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.